Okay, guys, those guys that are actually building my raw kits, uh, one thing you might happen into is you may find that you end up chipping a little bit of the gel coat or we've got to have a little bubble in the gel coat and you've got a little spot on the edge. Um, the way that I fix those, and it's actually really pretty easy, um, sometimes I forget because I've been working with fiberglass for so long, but um, if you get yourself some good you can use Bondo, but uh, I like I use a good polyester filler. And you just fill that in um, with a little bit. Let me actually show you one that was actually worse. Uh, this one had some spots in it uh, that I filled in. And basically, you fill it in. Don't worry about getting it smooth at that point. But then you come back through and you sand it nice and smooth. Okay? Don't worry... I mean, I've sanded the rest of the gel coat, but that rest of that gel coat is fine. Right now it's got kind of a grayish color to it, but it's actually black. If I throw water on that or a little bit of alcohol on it, you'll see that it actually turns completely uh, jet black again. But because I've sanded and added in and kind of cleaned this up a little bit, there's a smooth few small areas. So what I want to do is I'm going to use some flat black spray paint and just kind of hit just those areas. I don't want to paint the whole thing because I really want to keep most of the gel coat on there and use that as the primary color. But using, um, I actually use a Rust-Oleum camouflage because uh, it's a very, very deep black, just like the gel coat. It's just not shiny. So let me hit it with a little bit of paint and you'll see how it looks. You can see I just used that black and I hit these. It's uh, fresh paint, so it's got a little shine to it. but. Um, I'll wait till that shine goes completely away. And once it's no longer shiny, what I'll use is a little bit of alcohol to wipe this down real good. And then we'll hit it with some uh, clear. Okay, this is just that same piece. And I just shot it with some uh, clear gloss polyurethane. And you can see that just uh, really, really shines. Now you can see a little bit of dimpling in the surface at the moment, but as that dries, um, it will actually smooth out and you'll end up with a really nice surface. Now, if it doesn't smooth out completely to your satisfaction, let it dry for about a week. And then after about a week, you can go in with some uh, 1000 sandpaper and then some polishing compound. And you can really make these things like, look like glass if that's what you're looking for. Um, personally, um, I look at this as this is a costume, and these guys probably didn't look like a shiny car if they're out in battle. Um, so that's not the really look I want. I want it to be shiny, but I also eventually, as I begin trooping in this, it's going to get some dings and stuff in it. And I'll actually go back with a little bit of, of silver and some graphite and just kind of hit those places where they had dings so that it looks like it's actually metal underneath that's showing through. So that's my quick tutorial on how to fix one of these pieces. It doesn't take that long. Um, and i tell you, this is a whole lot easier than uh, all the sanding and the priming and painting and everything else you would have to do with a 3D printed piece or non-gel coated.